All right, it's Friday morning. We started this project Monday night. Well, actually we built the, the base Saturday, but started the digging out here Monday night. Anyways, so as you can see, we've cleared a little bit of the dirt, moved it over here. Um, what we've done is, uh, wow, these things rust quickly. Anyway, so what we've done, um, I put two by fours, basically, all along here, and as you can see here, rolled the tarp under, over the two by four, and then used these um, roofing nails, which obviously have rusted in just the night, um, surface rust at least, um, to secure the nails, or to secure the metal to the wood and the plastic to the wood. This is basically going to prevent the tarp, the pool liner from sinking in, as well as prevent the uh, metal mesh from ever sinking in, because it's like a frame. Um, so now all we need to do is get the lid on top of the fountain. Um, and that's what these long 2x4s are for. Basically it's going to be picked up um, these will be laid out like so. It'll sit right there in the middle and four people, one on each end, will lift it and drop it right down on the middle since obviously you can't step on it. So that's next. We'll see how that goes. That's, this, that's tomorrow. All right, here we are, Saturday morning. Um, we started this project Monday well, technically, we started pouring the concrete last Saturday. This is all the dirt we removed from that area. And so far, okay, what we did yesterday was, well, we got that over there um, up on some pavers just to support it until we put it there. It needs to be painted and mosaic tiles put on. We cleaned up all the dirt all around the area the best we could. Um, we also, the 2 by 4 sections that we put around the border made that border lift up so we had to dig out some of the area so it lays nice and flush with the ground. Um, and you'll notice that's pretty much the, what you can expect for um, how the water is going to come out. It'll shoot up about that much because it's not really meant to be a shooting fountain like that it's just meant to be more of a trickle that trickles all around the sides and um, so right now we're on our way to go get some tiles um, and so that we can lay that down lay uh, mosaics on there um, and then later this afternoon we've got somebody who is going to use these two by fours um, to help us lift it. Well, we were actually able to use those 2 by 4s to give it enough leverage to get it up on those blocks, but not enough to carry it precisely because this we don't want to drop it in here. So, this is what we've got so far. The top. And... Oh, and we spray painted this rock with some black uh, spray paint. And that's it. Um, Oh, and we need to go buy some more rock to cover that small portion. Um, and then, of course, we need to till the grass and get all the grass out of there around the border and put in artificial grass. But that's all for now. Okay, don't set too, too much in. Hold on. Okay. 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 
a little bit towards the house, if you can see. All right, we are done, and it's become super gay. Well, the idea of mosaics was the original idea. Unfortunately, they didn't have any mosaic stone available, and I hate to wait, so we bought those are not gumballs, those are little glass marbles all over. And uh, yeah, it uh, certainly stands out. We quick set them and you know, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this project now. It was great at first, but well, either way, it's done. That's how you make a fountain. Well, that's how you make a gay fountain. So, you know, my apologies goes out to all the gay, lesbian, and bisexuals who might have found that comment to be offensive. But, hey, I bet you love the fountain, don't you? All right, here's the final fountain. Um, Basically, this is what it, it looks like. Uh, you can see, oh, the only thing that we've done since last time was uh, clear coated over the rocks, which actually seems to have helped hold them in place. So, here we go. We'll turn it on and see what happens. Okay. As you can see, the water does indeed spray. It needs to spray upwards more like this, but I think I can trim the hose to get it to do that. Let me do that right now. All right. Um, tried to do the best I could leveling it, but unfortunately, it's not really that easy. Um, but what I decided on is eventually it won't be visible along this side and this side considering there'll be a wall of hedges there. So realistically it would only be visible from the front of the house and our driveway. Um, which is good because it seems to be that um, I can only really get about half of the fountain to ever flow to, for the water to flow off um, at any moment. So uh, what I'll end up doing is once I get that, right now I have it painted, um, pointed towards the street because since we've been doing this now for a week, a lot of people have walked by and inquired as to what we're doing so now they can see it. Once the hedges go up, I'll have it pointed towards the house and the driveway so we can enjoy it. Um, but actually from a distance, it doesn't look all that bad um, it actually looks more Miami style let me see if I can show you okay um, this is from the road and then if you zoom in that's how it looks so that's what we, it looks like. Um, then of course, you'll never be able to see the pickup or the fountain due to the hedge line around here and around there. But, there we go. We're finished. Um, the only thing left now is to do something with this here. Uh, Cable. Now, when I went for the permit on this, uh, I had to apply for, or, or um, not apply, but um, it said that, or what I put in my permit request was that it's going to be uh, connected to an existing GFI receptacle, so that this way I don't have to do an additional permit uh, to have the whole thing um, wired. Now, I don't have a GFI receptacle, 
existing that is close by so I'm gonna have to have my contractor add one and then just claim it's been there since we'll see how that works but uh, my plan is to put this in a conduit and bury it uh, and then probably have it run up somewhere into the house um, but I just have to be careful because all this area in the front is eventually going to be a concrete pad uh, so I don't want to have to cut into the conduit but there we go um, I would say you're looking at roughly 60 man hours um, 30 per person to do this project um, with a final cost uh, I'm going to say around $1,300. I'll break out the exact final cost um, in a minute and uh, put that in the notes. But that's what it looks like. Um, you know, it's I spent half of what it would have cost to get the actual one here. And, you know, it, it's one of those things of if it's worth getting the actual one for double the money and you could afford it, then do it. I just decided that instead I would attempt to make it myself. If I messed up, then I go buy the actual one, but at least I can use a lot of the mechanics. Um, you know, the, the screen, the, the pump, everything. Uh, basically, all I would have to buy would be the actual uh, fountain itself. So, you know, that's just food for thought for you. All right, see ya.